After the unified field, we'd reach the end of a concept that we've been developing over three, four years. We've said all we want to say in this context, that intense editing, manipulation, piecing it all together kind of way. felt like we needed something new, something that would challenge us, something that would excite us again. Senegal and always wanted to go back and work with musician there. I think the idea of coming to Senegal was a spark. The sparks become a, a, an entry to a whole new musical culture which I, you know, I've had no experience of at all and you're re-embracing in, in a completely new way. We turned up with absolutely nothing pre-recorded. We were very conscious that because we were going blind to a recording session, we needed something, a, a backing track as it were, to give the inspiration to them. The first thing we did was to record a radio, like Senegalese radio. She just had a, a woman speaking in Wolof and she just said, and then we cut up some loops of that and played that to uh, the Jambe player, to Waraba. Do you want to uh, play with a click or just free? Click now. Free? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were quite lucky to get Waraba first. I think that helped create this recording process. And mm. that was us saying to them, do a warm up piece, whatever you're comfortable with. And then the big moment where we dropped some kind of processed loop that we'd been working into their headphones and see how they responded to that. Play to to the like core I was yeah. yeah, and it was like a snowball effect, and there was more and more stuff to play to. <laughs> yeah. What I really enjoyed about yesterday is that I realised why I was why I, why I, why I was there for. Like, it's like I really wanted that we were all immediate relationship to, to creativity because because it's the opposite of what I do. I just do computers so I you know, I'm thinking and he started screaming as as he was playing was like this is this is the energy was incredible. We were essentially looking for loops in the beginning. Sometimes I would find a clean loop from a bit of recording and give it to Franz and say, do you want to try and treat this into something a bit more ambiguous? Or equally France might make some huge long texture which I would try and interrogate the tempo from it.
played to this different this way. That instrument um, is not made anymore. We're going to do that one first. Ah, chas, the kilo chas, man. No, 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 West African music in general is um, um, entrancing. It's amazing, they're all playing their groove and they can play it for seven minutes. Sometimes you'd, you'd get into a groove and, and they'll be playing it for six, seven minutes and you'd be recording that and, and knowing that you were looking for something maybe a bit more deconstructed or a bit more free and they just don't stop playing, don't, don't stop playing. That's where the anxiety comes from. You're like, okay, I've got an hour or two with this person, and I really want to try and push something out of them, which is different to their warm-up track, and hopefully something that has a connection to us. There'd be cases with Waraba where you were away in five minutes, and, and then there were other cases like one of the Kora players, Abdu. And we actually ended up with this beautiful bit of processing, which has ended up in, as a key aspect of, of the track named after him. At the time, it, it, was, it was definitely anxiety making, because you'd say something to hopefully inspire a direction, and he, he, wouldn't, he wouldn't necessarily get it at all. We weren't dealing with conventional pen and paper musicians or writing out parts or anything like that. The musical culture is very different there in the sense that they still have a very direct relationship with the music they play. Uh, it's very folk by nature. The music they play is about stories, the things that happened to them, or traditional things that have been passed on and changed. They don't, they're not aware of trends or styles of music, they just play their instrument. And it was very refreshing to work with people like this because suddenly you play them something that's really awkward or distorted or strange. And yes, they'd be, they'll be surprised, but that would be only like 10 seconds. And they start, oh, okay, I'll play something to that. It's just, pff, doesn't matter. I suppose that was the, the greatest moments of joy as well because you could play something to them and maybe tell them about a little bit they'd played before that was a really good starting point. You'd feel them respond. It suddenly moved from a bit of traditional Senegalese music to a Senegalese sound within a piano interrupted frame. Those two chorus players were interesting in respect that the young fellow who had the whole and being tradition is being passed down. Dad's sitting there yeah. judging him. You know, it's like here's my son, he's going to play. You know.
know, and, and yet he was the one who wasn't constrained by the weight of history. I really felt that strongly for the, for the first time today. You could hear the digital world in him. You could hear our interconnected global world. And the whole world around the record, the way we did it, what happened to us in Senegal and how we worked after, which is about things that are hidden and coming out in the light and disappearing. And I don't know, there's something quite playful about it. I think with Unified Field, we were, we had loads of expectations, I think, from it. We were hmm. quite violently, you know, pushing things in to, because we were trying to do something very unifying all this stuff. And, hmm. and I think it was really refreshing to say, you know what, it doesn't matter, we'll see what happens. It has been a more pleasurable process making it. You listen to anything, and and subconsciously there is, you know, there is a, a memory attached to that sound. With landscapes, we went away. We had a, it's associated to a human experience, to a travel. We went, we we left our daily routine. We enable ourselves to be completely submerged in, cre in creativity and to be like receptive to all this energy and music and stuff and that's what we brought back here. <laughs> <laughs>